All right. Hey, Collective, how y'all doing today? Now, I don't know what's going to come out of these cards. But let's see. I don't want to start out with the tarot today. I want to start out with something new. I, ain't, I don't know what to do with these cards, y'all. So, let's see. They new? Let's see if they ready for me yet. Okay. Now, we got the creator. The weaver of imagination, creativity, innovation, invention, and realization. Now, I can look at this as the creator of all, or you being a creator. Look like you might be a little innovative at this time. Your imagination, you know, maybe sparking new interest. Let's see. Well, I know what cards I want to um, line these up with. Now you got Bard, the keeper of epic tales, ballad, ballads, and legends. Let me see. Now, it really do give me the feeling that you're attuning with the Most High. You know, because the Keeper of Epic Tales, Legends, and things of that nature. Tapping into some hidden wisdom. Let me see. Yeah, because we have realization here. And we got the journalist. Now you can actually be a journalist, a writer of some sort. Could be in front of a camera. The secret of knowledge is at the bottom of the deck. Explorer. He could be learning something new. Because he is actually um, interviewing someone. Yeah. It's like you're learning. you about to learn something. you about to learn something. I don't want to pull these cards. I'm trying to switch it up. That's the first thing that came to my mind, so I'm going to do it. Do it, Shelly. Do it. person is reaching up like your endurance is strengthening like you being equipped with something because you got gym equipment you're in training to be some type of speaker teacher that's going to deliver some of these epic tales <laughs> yeah I told you you're being grown You are being green, boo boo. To get up on the stage, 
to perform. <laughs> now, even though this says within the vehicle community experience, commuting experience, road journey, of course it could be online. You know what I'm saying? You reach a lot of people worldwide online. But but it may be something already inside of you. And I was saying something about um, something coming to you second nature. It's not like you really had to go out there and learn it. It's something about a knowing that you have. And the journalist investigating something. Hmm. Yeah. I told you. Right there in the, this dense candy on a, a forest floor. You know, she been through a lot to get through there. It's a lot of destruction in the back of her. What's going on? Now they almost kind of look alike. These two, this journalist and this person right here. Now you might, yeah, and I said something about you being groomed because the hair done cut. I don't know. It's, I don't know. You're being groomed for something? Now this could be a change in um, status. Professional status, I want to say. Yeah. Like, you know how sometimes people are performing um, holes in the wall? It's, it's like a, a little elevation going on here. You see here in the bar. You know how a lot of people, like, say for instance, if you... uh not well known singer and you know you go to little nightclubs then you make it big or something like that right there your um reach expands ooh I know what cards I want to pull from just because I said that <laughs> I see some expansion Expansion. What caused that spirit? Alright, what at? What at? I've been going to these cards lately. Yeah, these is the one. You see, I, I told you. We got the fifth house. And then we see all them fives come up. Yeah, and this is all about the creator, the, the weaver of imagination. And then I say something about painting. I oh, was that on the other reading. Yeah. Okay. Let me. I'm gonna pull from them next. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you, it's something. That's rooted in you. That's about to take flight. Like the seeds have been planted. Now you're ready to um, put it on the canvas. Show it to the world. Well, go ahead on with your bad stuff, then. (laughs) 
I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and do this hallway because if I don't do it, this just gonna stay on my mind. I don't, I don't know why this card in here. Let me take this out. And we have entrance. I told you. And messages at the bottom. And digest with um, splitting the wheat from the tear. And the radical rebirth is after that. Now let me see. Oh, Spirit, you so slick. <laughs> Spirit, spirit. All right, we're gonna take the one off the bottom, which is message. Came right back out, and we got the south node and shine with the past, the ego. So now it's time for you to shine, boo. Yeah, progress and journey. It's time to go. It's time to get up off your katukush and get back out there in the world and spread these messages. You the healer. Spirit told me these cards. That's why I think she slick. <laughs> the crown chakra. I told you, y'all think I'll be kidding. I told you, right over here. Then I tell you, you think I'm be kicked. Now this is lead and reach out. Your reach is about to expand as a leader. Three and four is seven. There goes another seven, but seventy-seven all over again. Oh, was that in the last? Yeah, I ain't post that. I'm sorry. Sometimes I get, but thirty-four. And 43. Same number right here. Whatever. It was 3 and 4. 4 and 3 right there. <laughs> Which is giving me 777 seven, seven anyway. So let me see. That picture that you got up in your crown. Let's see. You ready, boo? Now this is love. However, there's six and seven here. And eight. Six, seven, eight. Now I'm not sure what control is talking about, but I'm not sure. It's it's giving me It's not giving me a bad control. It's giving me a sense that you can control something. You know? It's giving me Dave, David Banner. <laughs> the Incredible Hulk. You know how 
he couldn't control it sometimes, but you know, sometimes. He was working on it. I don't know where that came from. We'll teach. Now, what's the odds of that? Five, six, seven. You see it? Five. So, you want to see right there at the top? You see that number? Six, seven. Now, what's the odds of that? And it came right back out the same way. It, it's just clarifying everything that I just said here with the library messages and teach. <laughs> <laughs> and to make it so bad, we got the four right here. <laughs> four, five, six, seven. With the opportunity beckons. Oh my goodness, spirit. You are such a mess. Oh my God. Now what I want to do is read out a couple of these cards. I don't know, y'all. I feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I just feel, I don't know. I feel happy for y'all. So let me see. The crown chakra. Look. Now maybe, um, let me see what the interest is talking about. Because, you know, how I like to see this card is somebody, uh, serenading somebody yeah you're moving on and you're open to something but let me see you see how he looking over the balcony you know back in the day how they used to serenade that big ball and chain is behind you however you got the infinity symbol there right there on that ball Which is giving me 888. Because the number 8 is behind that. We got 4 there too. Let's see, 484. Which is giving me 88. All these numbers showing up for you. But let me see what this interest is talking about. I hope y'all still with me. Don't go nowhere. Yeah, it's something about how do you see the world. Take a long look at the assumption and the presumption through which you filter your experience. Now it says do what you can do to um, dismantle any obstruction so that you can see the whole view. Open up that aperture. And I think you're doing that. I told you being groomed for something. And this love, you know, even though it could be a relationship, I just think it's your masculine and your feminine. Yeah. Now, some of y'all might actually be in the gym. Going to the hell dressel. Man, you might be getting a pedicure for the first time. <laughs> That's sexy. <laughs> oh, that's so sexy, fellas, when you go out there and get your feet done. Now, let me see what the challenge is. The front door is the only... The front door is only one part of the house. Be willing to look beyond appearances and, and to the heart. But don't count on others' ability to do the same. Now, that's the challenge. Now, the gift is, over time, your reputation is built on what you do, not how you look. Hmm. And it's so funny that this beauty salon is here. In the gym. Now, ain't nothing wrong with it, but don't you think that's kind of, uh, you know, because you could be out there working out and <laughs> getting all dolled up and it ain't even really about that. Ain't nothing wrong with it, though. But it's something about the way you 
it's something about your vibration actually was coming from you. Hmm. And I told you. Hmm. There's something different about the way you're going to be showing up. Now maybe you're versatile. You know? Now, I don't think it's, it, there's anything particularly wrong with any style of dress or even the way you express yourself. I think the people that's unrehearsed, more authentic, you know, where it just... You, you know how you can see some people that stand in front of the uh, camera and it's a, act like it's been, been rehearsed? You know, you ever come across a video... It looked like somebody re rehearsed <laughs> everything they had to say. And you'd be like, oh my God. And just when you just take a couple of notes if you have to. It all depends on what you're talking about. And you just let it roll off your tongue. There's something so authentic about that. Now, I don't think it's nothing wrong with either way. You know, I guess it all depends on... Um, what it is or where it is that you're at and how you're expressing yourself. Y'all, listen. I don't think there's nothing wrong with either or. I don't, because I don't think it really has anything to do with that, just like Spirit say. It's like both of these people, you know. Now I'm, I'm 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 feeling something different here. I don't know what's ever in this library, whatever this is you do teaching, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a real library. It's healing. Now we know that sometimes these people. <laughs> I think at one point in our reality, journalism was uh, uh, true to some sense. Now, <laughs> do you really believe what the heck they talking about? Now, it's taking me back, and it's so crazy, I'm telling y'all, I went to school for graphic design, and I think I learned more about history during that period than anything else, because, you know, we had a couple of prerequisites, uh, if I said that right, in regards to history, but it was the history of um, photography, you know, photography, and things of that nature, and how... Um, I didn't even know that Photoshop had been around since the 1800s. And you think about the first um, images, they were actually uh, paintings, you know? I don't know how they manipulated, but it wasn't actually the full, you know, uh, image from you know, the screen was manipulated. And even back in the day, they would um, manipulate the background to sell you a story. Now, like everything that you seen wasn't true. I was like, wow. They were, they... But it was a time where, you know... People will be um, outed for selling false stories of plagiarism and things of that nature. Now, child, I'm, child could be doing the most. So I'm getting, I'm getting a couple of things from this. But let me see. Let me show. Let me show. Let's see 
what, let me see what the uh, tarot going to say. I guess that's the only way to go about it. To see what's going on with dude over here. <laughs> Look. <laughs> It is Mercury. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Matter of fact, let me see something. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The challenge of Mercury. When a quick mind is not connected to the heart, it can cause trouble. Watch out for your busy hamster wheel of the mind. Shallow thinking, scattered, dishonest, or um, a glib approach and mistakes made when in a rush now the gift is mercury was, mercury was the messenger of the gods listen deeply to the messages of your soul then can do it of spirit and become the messenger hmm. well i do see some type of um elevation you know, because over here, the epic tales. And when I see that word barred, you know how they bar you from a bar? Like, you barred. I don't know. Yeah. And maybe it's some of the things, you know, because a lot of that in those books is up for speculation as well. <laughs> Now, it's so funny that I was just looking at somebody, and even though I listened to them, you know, I could see some of the discrepancies in what I believe in their message. And I could look beyond, you know, some of it, because for the most part, I just think they don't know, and I don't know everything. But um, I can listen and, eat, you know, eat the meat and spit out the bones, per se. Well, maybe something like that going on. Now, when you can, you can tell when somebody is earnest. Or, um, not necessarily trying to uh, send out a false message. But, you know, they're just not aware of things. And that could be true of me, too. You could say the same thing about me. I'm not saying I know everything. But, um, you know. I think it got something to do with that too. You know, using your discernment. You know, again, eating the meat and spitting out the bone. And maybe you shouldn't be, maybe there should be some, uh, then again, like where do you research to get the truth from, right? Everything is up for speculation, right? <laughs> with these epic tales. I don't know, y'all. All right, let's see. I hope some of this made sense. What's going on, Spirit? Called bar. I'm going to look up with this bar name. Y'all, hold on. I forgot. I think I looked it up before. Look, we got 13 here. The number of evolution. Right here on Passion the Creator. Like, it's just like everybody happy and vibrating high with the King of Pentacles. Damn. Look at the truth right behind him. Well, hold on, y'all. Hold on. All right, so I wanted to look up what this means. Now, it said the bards of the College of Epic Sagas are focused on great tales of those who have come before. They, long, they learn songs of great heroes and, and horrors of the land. Hmm. 
Now, it's making me pay attention to this. Starting at the sixth level, you gain proficiency with medium armor so that you can get close to the fighting while composing your poem. What in the world is going on? The armor poet. Starting at the sixth level. Damn. Number six. Y'all, when it get freaky like that, it just get freaky. Right here with the crown. And then teach. Now, this is what it's looking at. This is what it's saying in here. It says, starting at the sixth level. You gain proficiency with medium armor. So that you can get close to the fighting while composing your poem. Like, I don't know. It's I'm telling you, you being groomed for something. And I think it's going to be evolutionary. So you have innovation, invention, and realization. Right here on this canvas with the crown. Spirit has got you in motion. It's got you in the gym. <laughs> yeah, you tight and right. <laughs> Now you know the ascendant. Let me see. 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 On an astrological standpoint. Because this is getting good. I've just seen 110 on the phone. It's 110, y'all. 11. Intuition. Let me see. <laughs> Why am I giggling? I kind of like when I got to dig something apart like this and it start getting spooky. <laughs> Let me see, let me see. That's why I said spirit is slick. Okay, ascended. Astrology. Meaning. It said the rising marks the beginning of the first house which signifies the native self, physical body, character, and appearance. It's your personality, your build, your first thing people notice about you. I'm trying to tell you! You cannot make this stuff up. I'm trying to tell you. This is why you being groomed and, 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 and chiseled. <laughs> yeah, you ready. You ready. I don't know. Oh my God. Okay. I think I got enough. You right in alignment to with it. Then look at the spirit. I swear I just love, 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 love. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. Go ahead on, go ahead. Look, our angel Michael. Now you got the chariot. I tell you, there was those messages. There's the tower. And there it go. Hey, you can't make it up. There it go. This you. Whatever it is. Now, of course, we don't all have all the answers. But I think your message is coming from a place of, of love. You know, I, I don't think that you're trying to send nobody into the slaughter, is what I'm trying to say. I think you can even say that you don't have all the answers, that you don't know. 
I think you give a, 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 a good enough message in regards to uh, helping somebody get to the other side. You know what I'm saying? But I think it's coming from a place of love is what I'm saying. I think spirit see that. That's why you was chosen to do this. Despite your pants. Woo! Cha, cha, cha. Right here on the entrance in the love in the salon. As I said, all that right there. You can't make it up. You ready? You ready, boo? You ready? You ready? I think your little heart done healed up. See what's going on with the library, though. Okay. They do look like a new beginning. Something tangible. The ace of the ace of wands is. So many things. Yeah, I told you. I think you're coming from a place of love. Right here on Teach with the King. And I think this is just... Now, sometimes it could be a relationship, but it could be something that you can touch on the physical. And it could be so many things. It could be just that root chakra getting right. Yeah. You can't make it up. I think this has a lot to do with your individuality. How you showing up. Hmm. Now it could be a relationship because I'm looking at the high priest of the ace of wands and the king of cups. It could be. at the high priestess subconscious the king of cups subconscious I mean the conscious let me see two of pentacles 22. Master building number on the journalist. Now, this is representing the year of the eight. Balance. That's a lot of money. And look what she associated with now. The magician. Who are you? <laughs> I don't know, but you're about to go somewhere. I'm trying to tell you. You could be saying two, two, two. It's something about your message. Now let's say, let's continue. The messenger. The messenger. Now you got the 13 again. Now, I don't know if I should take it out or not. Let's take it. Because it did kind of fall out. But look, 6-6. Six, six. Huh. 
And it's all about this right here, this entrance with this 666. Six, six. I just read 666 six, six out to you in the last reading. It's all good, boo. And that has something to do with the way you view the world as well. All right, let me read it again for those that just came in that didn't get the last message. It's still right there in the thing. The focus and define balance. Angel number 666 is a reminder to refocus and find balance in your life. It can also be a sign that you are putting too much emphasis on material things or that you are not being true to yourself. What does it mean if you see... Okay, we got that. And that's probably why this is all over here like this as well. You know? Even though I don't think it's nothing wrong with being chiseled up and cute and dolled up, I think that spirit is telling you it ain't got nothing to do with that. And maybe, I don't know, maybe you don't want to be seen. I don't know. I don't know. I could. Huh. I don't think it's nothing wrong with that. But maybe that's a new beginning in regards to, you know, how, you, how you're how seeing yourself. It's not about what you look. Don't judge the book by its cover. It keeps coming up like that. Yeah, but I see something in that regards coming to an end. Yeah. I just heard, I love you just the way you are. <laughs> and what's that so baby face say? <laughs> when you love me when my hair get gray. Where the hair go? Something like that. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. But there's something going on here. No. Dang. Look at it. Something about to be torn down. Dang. Yeah. I don't know where you're going, but you're going somewhere really nice. Now, let's see what's this. Ooh. Now, the Page of Cups is on the High Priestess. And the Knight of Swords is on the Ace of Wands. Entrance and the... Now, this is just swift. Now, there's something in regards to what's going on over here that's giving you insight. And we got, because this does in, mean intuition. I told you you're being grown for something. Try a new game or buy swings. Oh! The, the, hey, how about the game commercial don't bust through? I'm telling you, you're being cleaned up. <laughs> so fresh and so clean, clean. But anyway, I think this is coming in kind of swift. And again, it does tell you to be mindful of, you know, of thoughts getting muddled. We're going to clarify with that. That that card is. And she was yearning yearning. Damn, look at it. Sheesh. Now this is protection, pushback, Mercury teach, but it also means alignment and work. Yeah, I see it as all good, but we're gonna clarify what this Knight of Swords is.
I just don't like the expression on his face. <laughs> That's a lot of cards, but they do look like all systems systems say says go. And on the other side is a leap of faith. Eight eight. Told you you moved you don't move the battle at seven. It's time to go to the eight. You in the eights. But let's give me one card. Alright, thank you. Yeah, go. <laughs> Time to go. Stop procrastinating. Let me see. <laughs> Alright, what's this Knight of Swords? Two of Wands. Yeah, that's something to do with perception, boo. Choices. How you rule the world. Damn, it's like the, all the cards came out again. What is this? Six, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine is here. Seven, eight, nine. However, I think you're coming up out of that. Coming into alignment. They're working on this, whatever it is. I still didn't get a card, though. Thank you. The Magician. Psh! With that at the bottom of the deck. And again, I think it's a gift that's coming in. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> Y'all know this is my favorite couple. <laughs> that would be my man. <laughs> I think I would want him before the emperor. <laughs> yeah, this when I see him, I get hearts all in my eyes. <laughs> talking about y'all that's what i'm talking about all right <laughs> that's what that is that's a gift that would that be i don't know what you about to be i don't know what you about to be doing boo but get ready all right that's all i got for you hit that cotton pick a like button i hope it made sense i'll see you on the next one